Guardrails are up to current standards along I-75 in Allen, but after a deadly crash this week, there are new concerns about if those standards are enough to keep something similar from happening again. Now, you may have seen this video. On Tuesday, 71-year-old Gustavo Gomez was killed when his semi went flying off the overpass near Stacy Road, causing that crash. And one week ago, there was another incident involving this big rig, but it came to rest on a southbound railing at Bethany in Allen. Now, unfortunately, the impact killed the driver. Tex Dot and the Texas A&M Transportation Institute have studied those barriers as high as 54 inches. Well, they found it effective, but the required measurement remains at 32 inches. It's not designed and intended to contain and redirect large 18-wheeler uh, vehicles. It can in some cases, but it's generally not designed and intended for that purpose on this particular bridge. So Allen police say their investigations are still in the early stages.